Hello, friends. It is Monday, December 13th, and I am cold. So what happened over Thanksgiving, it was really fun. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we had all four kids home, so Sophie was home, and Sydney was home, and Eric and Jenna were all home. And then the room that I was recording in before, they kicked Dad out of it because each kid had their own TV and their own game system, and then they were playing Minecraft together, and they were playing Fortnite together, which means I got kicked out of that room, and now I'm out on the sunroom. And I'm a little bit chilly. I've got the heater going on, but this is my new space for now. Okay? So I think today's going to be a fun day. Do you remember last time before we left, I said that I was going to show you how to draw a nutcracker? So today... What we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to draw a nutcracker for a little bit. We'll take a couple steps, and then we'll do a little bit of singing, and then a little bit of drawing, and a little bit of singing, and a little bit of drawing, and a little bit of singing, right? Let's just go back and forth and back and forth, and by the time we're done, we could have a nutcracker done. Then, send me a picture of your nutcracker on Google Stream. Or, or send it to my email. Send, I'll put my email at the end. Send me your um, Nutcracker picture, and then I'll, t I'll put it up on Google Stream so all the kids can see that, and I'll talk about it when I get your pictures. And if you color them, cool. And I'm going to show you a different way to color Nutcrackers too, but I think we're going to have fun today. So what are we going to do? A little bit of drawing, a little bit of singing, a little bit of drawing, a little bit of singing, a little bit of drawing, a little bit of singing. And then when we're done, go to my email, send me a picture of your nutcracker, and I will put it up on the video, and I will talk about it and say what a cool kid you are. Alrighty? Okay, here we go. Now the cool thing about this lesson is we're going to draw the Nutcracker without a lot of the details and then you guys at home can pause the video and add your own details because there's a lot of different kinds of Nutcrackers, different designs, different colors. So this is a really cool project to do half of it with us and then half using your own creativity and your own imagination. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, first step, we're going to start by drawing his head and his hat and we're going to draw an H up at the top of our paper. So we're going to draw two lines, we're going to draw Straight down, draw a big H, like this. Straight down, two lines straight down. And that's for the side of his head and his hat. Okay. You want me to give you dots? Mm-hmm. Okay, we can start right here, and go all the way down to there. And then we can start over here, and go all the way down to there. Okay. And we can do this right up close to the top of the paper. We're gonna use up all of the paper. Good, now let's draw the cross part of the H. So draw a line that goes all the way across. Nice job. Now we can draw the top of his hat too. So we'll connect the top of the H. I'm going to make these lines come down just a little further so that his head is bigger. And then I'm going to connect the bottom. But when we connect the bottom, we're going to go past. Oops, make it a little wobbly. There we go. See how we went a little past? Mm -hmm. So we're going to start over here and go all the way over to there. Okay. Yes. Good job. <laughs> hey, how was your nutcracker coming? This is what I have so far. Okay. Well, let's check in with the singing guy, and then we'll keep drawing after that. Reading here. So, well, let's take a look at our key signature, right? Here's the treble clef. Now, this is the, also the G clef, because do you see where these two cross? This is the G note right here. And we learned earlier that the spaces are F-A-C-E, spells face, right, in the treble clef. The 4-4 four, four tells us that there are four beats in one measure, one, two, three, four, and the bottom four tells us that the quarter note gets one count, one, two, three, four. Now, look at the time signature, no sharps and no flats. Remember, a sharp looks like a tic-tac-toe sign and a flat looks like a small b, 
no sharps and flats. So we know, look at this, no sharps and no flats. So we know that our song is in the key of C. Yep. And if we had one flat, it would be the key of F. Or if we had one sharp, it would be the key of G. But we have no sharps and no flats. We're in the key of C. Good. All right, here's our starting note. Mm. Right there. So that's our Do. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put a text box in here. And move it down here. And this is the same, so we'll make that one a do. And if you see any more does, yep, that's one right there. Do you see any more? Do, 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 re, mi, fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do. Yep, that's a do. And that's a do. And that's a do. We are doing so well. And one more do. Yep, right at the end there. So now it goes do, do, do. Do, re, right? The next one up is re. So we got do, do, re. Do you see any more rays? I see, yeah, we see one more ray. Okay, so this goes do, 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 re, do, re, mi. We'll make that a mi box right there. So we got do, 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 re, mi. Fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do, 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 re, mi, fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do. Okay. What do we got next? We got do, 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 re, mi, fa. This will be our fa right up here. Mi, re, do, 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 re, mi, fa. Come on, you. Fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do. One more note. That's our so note. Then it's so again. So, fa, mi, re, do. Do, do, re, mi, fa, so, and then so, fa, mi, re, do. That's it. Those are our notes. So now we're going to get over to the sight read and then see if you can sing it with me. Okay. <laughs> Our part here we go. One, two, here we go. Do, 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 re, mi, fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do, 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 re, mi, fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do. Okay. How did that go? Sounded a little bit quiet on my end, but well, we're figuring this out, right? So let's do the same thing again. I'm gonna turn the background part up and leave your part on. Here we go.
now we're going to turn that part off. We're going to turn the accompaniment all the way up. And now see if you can sing this through with your part not being played at all. Good luck. Last one, you're getting nothing from me but hand signs. Okay, here we go. All right, hope that went well. Um, I'll take a look at the volume, but let's go back into some drawing and see how that goes. All righty. Okay, now let's draw his body. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and curves in. Is that cool? So we draw a point, we can put a point down here if we want a little guide. And we draw a curve that comes down and connects to that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Draw a curve that comes in for his waist. Good. And then let's connect the bottom. And then we can draw two more lines, shorter lines. This is for his belt. Straight down on each side. And then we'll connect the bottom of his belt. Starting to look like a nutcracker, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're going to draw the bottom of his jacket. We're going to draw two curves that come out, back out. So there's one. And then we'll draw the same thing on the other side. Curves out. And then let's connect the bottom again. Okay. Here's your nutcracker coming along. This is what I have so far. And now, let's get something to drum with. I'm taking this book, and I'm just going to hit. Okay? Or you can get sticks or whatever you want. All right? But let's do a rhythm drum. Yeah. 
Good job. Now let's draw his legs. And then we're going to draw really long lines that start right here and they come straight down. And then we're going to stop so that we can draw the base of the nutcracker down here. So I'm going to draw another line on this side, the same length. And this is for his legs, his pants. Okay. So I'm going to start there, come all the way down. Let's stop right there. Okay. Yes. One on the other side. And then we're going to do the same thing we did up on his shoulders. We're going to connect down here at the bottom, but we're going to go past on each side. And that's for his base, the base that he's standing on. Good. Okay, and then we'll draw shorter lines on each side. And then connect that at the very bottom. Perfect. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time. Okay, let's draw the inside of his legs next. So we'll come up here and we'll draw another line straight down for the inside of his left leg. So we can start right there, go all the way down. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side for his right leg, inside of this leg, straight down. Perfect. Good job. Okay, now let's draw his arms. And we're going to draw a line right here on his shoulder. And it's going to come all the way down, and we can connect it to the bottom of his jacket. Okay. Yes. And then we're going to draw a line, a short line that comes out at the bottom and also at the top. Okay. Up there. And we want those to be the same length. Good. Yes. And then we'll, let's draw the outside of his arm and connect those two lines. Now let's draw that same shape. What shape is that? A rectangle. Yes, it's a rectangle, good job. Okay, we're gonna draw that same shape over here. We're gonna draw a line down. It's good to repeat steps because then we can practice. And then we're gonna draw the top line. And we want that to be the same length as the line over here that we drew and the bottom line. And then we'll connect the outside. There we go, straight down. Yeah. Yeah. Hey okay. friends, how is your nutcracker coming? This is mine so far. Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 dun. And hopefully yours is going well. So now we're gonna take another little detour and look at a song on music play online. And remember, if you ever want to get on music play online and you don't remember how i'll show you how to set up the password okay music play online online and remember if you ever want to get on music play online all you have to do is click on the link music play online go as a student you are a student and then in here click on s356524 s356524 Two, four. Okay, so that should get you into. Boom, we're in. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do what's called a clock round. 
So I'm just going to hit clocks in here and go to clock round. And a, a round is when you have a song that starts in different parts. Okay? And you keep singing your part and you try to stay in your part and a different part comes in at a different time and then a third part comes in at a third time. So I'll just show you what the song looks like right now. Okay? So it looks like this. Big clocks tick so slowly. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Little clocks tick faster. Tick a tock a tick a tock a watches on your wrist tick faster. Tick a tock a tick a tock a tick a tock a tick. And this note is middle C. That's going to be our do. So here's our do. So it goes. So it goes. Big clocks tick so slowly. Tick tock tick tock. Little clocks tick faster. Tick a tock a tick a tock a. Watches on your wrist tick faster. Tick a tock a tick a tock a tick a tock a tick. That's it. And then it starts in different spots. If we did the solfege, this is our do. Do re mi. This is me. Me. Do, 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 me, do, me, do, me, 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 fa, so, 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 me, me, so, so, me, me, so, 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 so. Now we had low do, this is high do, an octave apart. Do, 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 Sing it along with me and with Music Play Online. Did you hear how that like it goes through once together and then it splits and then it starts at different times and that's what the round is. So let me show you the round that I made on GarageBand. Okay. So this is my voice right here. And I'm going to sing the song through one time right here. And then the next time through, this is where group one starts and group one finishes. And then this is where group two starts and where group two finishes. And this is where group three starts and where group three finishes. Um, to recap, we all sing this one. And then if you pick one, start here. And then if you pick two here, and then if you pick three here. So this one's everyone. One starts here, two starts here, three starts here. And see how you do. Here are the lyrics. Let's try it. So I'll sing the first one, and then I'll just kind of point out where one starts, two starts, three starts. Here we go. <laughs> Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, 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 tick,
Well, it's kind of tricky, right? So that's called a round, right? Same song, starts in different spots. But it's really neat because it introduces harmonies, okay? Harmonies are when two people are singing at the same time, but they're singing different notes, but the notes match. Okay, so if I play a little bit of harmony, let's, I'll play harmony on my keyboard. That's one note, but what if I added this? And played them both together. Different notes played together and it works. That's our harmony. Cool. Let's do a little more drawing, and then we'll come back to this. We're going to draw a circle at the bottom of the rectangle. There's one hand, and then I'm going to draw a circle over here the same size for his other hand. Okay, let's, give, let's draw his mouth next, and that's what makes him a cool nutcracker, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to draw a little rectangle at the bottom of his head. So we're going to draw two lines that are short that come up, like this. So two little, two little lines that are right there inside of his head. And then we're going to connect the top. There's another rectangle, huh? We got a lot of rectangles. It looks like a robot. It does look like a robot. And then we're going to draw a longer rectangle that comes straight down. Well, we'll just do two lines that come straight down all the way to the bottom. To his, to his waist. To his belt. Yeah, his belt. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to draw the bottom of his mouth. We'll draw another line that comes across. And then let's draw the teeth. So one line right down the middle. And then we'll split this side in half with another line. And then split the other side in half. And there's his teeth. This is where my nutcracker is right now. How are you doing? But I am changing my mind, which adults do sometimes. They change their minds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here. And then tomorrow when you see me, we're going to take that same song from Music Play Online and we're going to do it tomorrow, but we're going to add a couple things to it. Okay, we're going to add the solfege and we're going to add the note name puzzles and stuff like that. And we'll finish this up the next time you see me. Okay? So, it's okay to stop with your nutcracker. We'll finish it the next time you see me. And then we'll also do more with our Music Play Online song. Sound good? All right, have a beautiful day, friends.